Hello friends, Physics Boy is back. This time we are going to discuss safe speed on a level curved road. This is first part of the two parts that is banking of road. And let me tell you that it is extremely easy. As the car is moving on a level curved road, three forces are acting on it. First one is weight of the car vertically downward that is equal to mg. Second one is normal reaction N which is arised due to weight of the car and here it is mentioned. Third one is force of friction which is along the road and towards the center of the car. We can see the weight is balanced by the normal reaction so we write here mg is equal to N. And so as car move on curve road to avoid sliding off a safe speed is required. And this safe speed is provided by the unbalanced force which is force of friction so in order to get safe speed the say the centripetal force must be less than the frictional force otherwise it will slide as here the case case is that uh, the force of friction must be greater than this centripetal force otherwise the object or the car will slide so here we are discussing about when object is about to move so the frictional force is static friction in which car is about to move and it is the case between when the car is not moving and about to move so we discuss here static friction and it is also mentioned as mu s n where we have already written mg is equal to n so we can clearly write mv square upon r is less than equal to mu s mg and safe for safe speed this must be less than or equal to so calculating square upon r is equal to mu s mg and after further calculation we get safe speed is equal to under root mu s rg where mu s is coefficient of friction r is radius of the curve and g is acceleration due to gravity so this was very simple and the concept we have to keep in mind is and we usually miss this concept that the force of friction is static friction so Thanks a lot for watching and if you like the video please subscribe the channel.